am so excited to review this book. It's a children's book called The Hundred Dr Dresses by Eleanor Etes. Um, the drawings are very simple, but oh my gosh, I absolutely love this book. Um, it's a really quick read, obviously. Um, the text um, I was able to use a magnifier for. Um, so basically, it's just about kids learning about not, don't judge a book by its cover, don't be a bully, don't be a, a Karen, literally. Um, it kind of, it's about a, um, a small town and a father, a son, and a daughter that's not from the town, they're Polish, and they have unique names, um, and unfortunately, you live in the United States kind of hit poignant with me because of that. If you're different in any way, you are automatically a target. And this book, it from a children's perspective, um, really hit home of how possibly things that kids learn at home project themselves when they go to school. They mimic that behavior and they do what they see, right? If you learn how to bully and to be hateful, um, because adults do it to people that are different from them, your children don't do it. So um, it's about a young girl by the name of Wanda, um, and unfortunately she lives in the part of town that is known to be poor. But the really weird thing about it, the other um, characters in this book, Maddie and the popular girl Peggy, Maddie is in this really weird um, sex, really weird mindset. She that she feels that they're making fun of Wanda, and she feels bad about it, even though it's not aggressive. It's systematic. <laughs> it's passive aggressive, but she kind of still has that intuition, that gut feeling that oh, I wish we would stop, but she doesn't do anything about it. You know why? Because she'd rather have the target on this other young lady than herself because she also knows that she's poor and she also knows that if she, if Wanda doesn't take the brunt of it, someone has to. And she doesn't want to be that person. She's the best friend of Peggy. Um, but anyway, so Wanda, um, unfortunately, is very quiet, very meek, sits in the back room, doesn't really make any noise, no muss or fuss. And um, she one day was brave enough because she saw a whole bunch of girls like laughing and getting together because this one young lady had a young child had a classmate had a beautiful red dress so unfortunately this kind of brought the floodgates and attention the target to wanda because she wanted to be part of the group no one wants to be isolated so she goes up to the group and hearing all the girls about dresses and things like that and unfortunately the truth is that she wears the same little blue dress every day it's clean but but it's old but she wears that same dress every day at school and to join the group, she tells everybody, hey, I have 100 dresses and 60 shoes. And obviously the young ladies know that, you know, they know her situation. They know what she comes into school with. They are passive aggressive and be like, they're not outwardly mean, which as a woman of color, I hate that. I want to know who you are. Just bring it to me. Don't select, don't, don't hide it with kindness or being condescending. And that's what these young ladies are. They're, they don't say anything outwardly mean, but they're mean. Um, they're like, oh, you do? And how, and what, what, what are they made of? And what's the color? And why did you wear it to school? They know the answer. They're just, they're putting her in a really bad predicament. And this young lady is very insistent. I will give Wanda that. She does not back down. She's like, I have a hundred dresses. And then one day she misses a couple of days from school and they have like this drawing contest. And, you know, Maddie and Peggy are like, they literally wait for this child to come walk past her so they can ask her about her hundred dresses and pick on her. And one day, um, you know, everybody's telling Peggy, oh, you're going to win the the drawing contest because I guess it was a drawing contest around Christmas time and it's a really big deal for these kids but um, still no sign of Wanda what happened to her so what happens is that during 
the day they walk into the classroom where they're going to have their drawings like announce who the winner is boys and girls they see a hundred drawings of beautiful dresses beautifully drawn with vibrant colors and it was from Wanda and the note that came from her dad was very sarcastic it's like hey we can't deal with this we're moving to the city we're done getting made fun of and that kind of brought attention the teacher had to address well I'm sure none of you guys did that and <laughs> Again, that's kind of like, where do you think these children learned it from? Of course, it, she already knew the answer, so why pretend you didn't? But the sweetest thing at the end of the book was that they felt, Maddie and Peggy felt bad and regret. And like, Maddie totally understood that I will never just sit by and not say anything. That was the catalyst for her to, to learn right from wrong and to to stand up for something when she knows something bad is going on. So that was really, really sweet. But what made it even better, because I did cry at this book, <laughs> it's a children's book and yes, I cried, is that um, they try to write her a letter. They don't know where she moved to, they don't know her footer and address, but um, Wanda, from wherever she was, wrote the teacher and the teacher read it and she gave um, pictures um, of, of one of the hundred hot dresses she gave one to Maddie and one to um, Peggy the two girls that were her tormentors she gave her the beautiful drawings that she had and the awesome thing about it was that Maddie on um, upon closer inspection of her drawing realized that she drew their likeness for each drawing so even though they tormented her she obviously imagined a different world where they were actually friends and she drew that so that just made me cry <laughs> if i will recommend any children's book please 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 definitely get this i got this from amazon 10 out of 10 recommend i love this book all right guys that's all i have for today and i'll see you guys later bye